Welcome back to Block TV. It's time now for Crypto Globe, a chance to take a look at the wider world of crypto and see what's happening all around the crypto sphere. Today, an eye on Switzerland, a country with a largely pro crypto agenda, which has been a breeding ground for some of the hottest crypto projects and developments. This week, a delegation from the US House of Representatives Financial Services Committee, including Chairwoman Maxine Waters, will visit Switzerland for a discussion on cryptocurrency and blockchain regulation. So now is as good a time as any to speak with a person who understands the inner workings of Swiss crypto regulations and industry. And I welcome Stefan Dice. Stefan is a CEO and co-founder of Blockchain Propulsion, a global blockchain and cryptography accelerator program headquartered in Crypto Valley, Zug. Stefan, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Okay, so Stefan, before uh, we get into some of the nitty gritty here, I want to talk about uh, sort of the headline story here, this uh, delegation that's come to Switzerland from the United States to speak there. What do you make of a trip like this and what do you expect uh, is going to come out of such a delegation visit? Well, I think the, the, the fact that they've made the trip here um, shows the seriousness of uh, the U.S. delegation to try to halt the development of the, the Libra project. Of course, they do see it as a threat to the U.S. dollar, and there's been some various statements around that. Um, but I'm hoping that uh, it doesn't really halt the, the work that has been uh, put inside to, to get the, the Libra project off the ground. Okay, but give me, give me an insider perspective here, because this was a, a key sticking point, particularly in those congressional hearings uh, with David Marcus, the head of Libra, about uh, the whole Libra project as a whole. Why do you think it was that Libra chose to register in Switzerland? Break that down for us. Yeah, well, I think Switzerland is certainly the, a leading jurisdiction in the area of uh, blockchain and crypto and, and has been for many years. Uh, the, the, the crypto friendly regulatory environment is, is, is absolutely uh, critical to innovation. So there is perhaps today no better location than, than in Switzerland in which to launch such a project like, uh, like Libra. But is, do you think, uh, Stefan, this is simply a case of friendly uh, regulation or could there be more to the story? I mean, uh, I must say Switzerland uh, internationally has a reputation for those looking to uh, keep their business uh, sort of interests on a more private space, a little removed from outside uh, sort of wider interests and international regulators worldview. Do you think that that factors in in any way, shape or form? And I only say that because specifically mm. that was an issue of contention that came up again in those hearings. Well, I think Switzerland is it's not only about the, the, the crypto uh, friendly regulatory environment. It's also been a, a great place to set up businesses. It's also been a very um, uh, innovative uh, country in particular around having the talent to be able to execute these type of, of projects. So there's a number of different components that come into place uh, as to why Switzerland was selected as a place to launch a, a Libra. So it's not necessarily only just to do with uh, the crypto uh, uh, blockchain uh, regulatory uh, friendly environment. Okay, and uh, now uh, we've spoken in general terms that it is a friendly environment for blockchain and crypto projects uh, in a, this sort of wide ranging notion, but let's get into the nitty gritty here. How is it that Swiss regulation serves to help blockchain and crypto startups? Uh, what, what, what are the sort of key features that make Switzerland a, a key friendly environment? Well, first of all, uh, today in, in the canton of, of Zug, you could actually pay for certain services in, in, in crypto, in Bitcoin, for example. You can establish your company using Bitcoin in Switzerland. So all these aspects are certainly uh, very uh, helpful for startups or enterprises wanting to set up their, their blockchain-powered businesses in, in Switzerland. So it, it facilitates the, the various aspects uh, that a lot of startups need just to get started. And so uh, that is very helpful as to why a lot of companies are moving to Switzerland to set up their, 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 their blockchain or crypto businesses. And this US delegation uh, that's there now, what do you think specifically they can take away from uh, Switzerland's regulatory practices regarding blockchain? Well, I, I think they're gonna to wanna to touch on the areas around data protection, which is one of the, the areas they'll be certainly talking about. Uh, they will also be talking about the whole area around uh, crypto in terms of anti-money laundering. And I'm sure they'll also be trying to stop, uh, or at least halt the development of, of, of the Libra project. 
Um, I mean, if you look at the statements that have been made out of the U.S. around uh, Libra being uh, a threat to national security, it's actually going to a, a very high level uh, uh, discussion around uh, the threat that the project has to the, to the U.S. government and in particular the U.S. dollar as, as a currency. So it's been, it's been hyped up to a level that is uh, not very helpful and I think it would have been actually much better if the U.S were more uh, collaborative of looking on how to work with, uh, with Facebook and, and its partners and how they can actually participate and, and work together in, in making such type of uh, projects succeed, in which case um, I'm sure there'll be uh, more uh, innovation in such, in such projects taking place. Do you think that this uh, delegation is a signal that perhaps US regulators are willing to, to do the research on the ground that's necessary to understand this project a bit better? Do you think it's a positive sign or a potentially negative one? Yeah, I think it is, it's, it's a positive one. And I think the regulatory environment in the US would certainly be looking at this, the SEC in particular, to see how they can learn some of the, the best practices that are taking place in, in Switzerland so that perhaps in future companies like Facebook are actually launching projects like Libra in the US rather than Switzerland. Okay, and, and pulling back for, for just a moment. Now, obviously, we understand that uh, one of the great advantages of, of cryptocurrency and blockchain-based projects is that they often negate the, the national boundary, the national border, and uh, are able to be internationally incorporated all around the world uh, through the use of, uh, of the digital assets and digital distributions. Now. And as a consequence of this, we've seen jurisdictions that are crypto friendly reap great rewards from uh, having those sort of uh, crypto friendly approaches. We're talking, of course, about Gibraltar, Malta, and of course, Switzerland, uh, just to name a few of these environments that are willing to be more crypto friendly. Uh, what do you think uh, countries who fail to effectively regulate uh, crypto and blockchain projects are risking by not uh, moving with this new technology? Yeah, it's a good, a good question. I think they, they first of all stifle uh, innovation in their own countries. Uh, they basically also, uh, it leads to uh, the, the drain of, of, of brain uh, power within each country because of course if they're unable to build and, and work on projects in a particular jurisdiction, they will move to other jurisdictions that are more crypto friendly. With that said, not every jurisdiction uh, if they are crypto friendly is the right jurisdiction to be based in because of course you want to be based in a country that for example like Switzerland is a triple-a credit rating uh, that gives further credibility to some projects that want to launch and uh, be built and, and of course operate on a global scale so there's also um, the, 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 the the fact that you have to also consider which jurisdiction do you build such a company even if it is a crypto friendly environment. Now your, your company, uh, Blockchain Propulsion, works uh, as an accelerator for cryptocurrency and blockchain project startups, helping to develop uh, some new projects that are coming through the pipeline. Uh, speaking from that perspective, can you tell us uh, about some exciting projects that you see coming into the future uh, in crypto and blockchain? Yeah, well, we're actually seeing a lot of asset tokenization projects coming in from around the world. Uh, one of the biggest ones we're working on at the moment is a blockchain-powered uh, smart chain city in Brazil. We're in the process of taking that through a tokenization process. And of course, there's various uh, legal and regulatory uh, aspects that need to be looked at. Uh, but there's various other projects, uh, whether that's an insurtech project disrupting the insurance industry, uh, or a fintech project uh, going into the area of sport tokenization. Uh, there's a number of different projects that we are enabling and helping to launch out of Switzerland to become uh, global uh, players in, in the various industries they, they operate in. And of All course, right. we provide a bit of a broad, a broad uh, approach. So we provide the whole business model design, uh, the tokenomics, the legal and regulatory uh, uh, compliance aspects as well as the, the blockchain development and uh, the whole tokenization process. So really end-to-end -to, -end to enable projects to get the full uh, scope of, of expertise that, that is required. All right, Stefan, uh, interesting work being done there and interesting to see how the regulatory environment, those jurisdictional issues are being dealt with by players around the world and specifically how Libra is going to work out and how this delegation will face, uh, change their opinions and minds in the future.
coming out of this trip to Switzerland. But I want to thank you, Stefan Dice, CEO and co-founder of Blockchain Propulsion, for speaking to us today from Switzerland to help us understand a little bit better how the regulatory environment there works. Stefan, thanks for joining us and stay with us on Block TV for blocktv.com for all the latest in news and information. I'm Ashley Westrop Evans. Thanks for watching. For more news and updates, follow us on Twitter.